Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will gonna take a look at how we can synchronize two different flat lists in React Native. I was inspired by Darek, he created this beautiful picker animation and I will show you my way of doing it in React Native by using animated API and two different flat lists. I will teach you how to synchronize two different flat lists based on scroll Y position. Before jumping into VS Code, I would like to thank you all for supporting this channel, especially to Aditya, Brent Vanne and Jel van de Viet for supporting this channel and buying me a couple of coffees. And by the way, if you like this content and you would like to support me, the link to buy me a coffee and PayPal is down in the description. And now, let's play the intro and jump straight into VS Code and start synchronizing two different flat lists. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've created a project using Expo and I've built a couple of components. So let me walk you through what we have so far. We have a data file here uh, that's basically a collection of items. Each item will have an icon and a name. And inside the application, I have a component called icon that's uh, gonna render a simple line icons, which is coming from vector icons and it's uh, getting the icon and the color as a prop and passing to it. Then we have an item component, which will wrap this icon uh, into a view and based on a show text property that's receiving, it's gonna display either a text or an empty view just for spacing purposes. And then we have a connect with text component, which is this guy here, the text and the last component is connect button that will receive an on press callback and will display this line plus the button itself. So when you press on it, it's gonna call the on press prop and the on press prop we treat it as a, uh, we basically uh, take the uh, active index and take the data and make it uppercase. So we will display Tumblr in our case. Uh, and the index, it's, it's a use state hook. And what I would like to do is basically create two different flat lists. Uh, so let me show you how an item actually uh, look like. So we'll get the uh, from data and uh, the index. So we will get one, one item. We will like to show the text and the color is gonna be colors yellow. So this one will display Tumblr and the icon uh, with, with yellow and we'll have another variant of this one which is show text it's false basically, right? And we will display two different flat lists one with uh, uh, only with, uh, with the icon as a render item and the other one will have both the text and the icon but this time we will um, uh, apply the color dark plus switch the background. So let's let's start with uh, creating this uh, flat list component. And we'll have a flat list here. We'll pass the data data. We'll have a key extractor, which is uh, item dot name and dash item dot icon. And for the render item, we'll have, we'll get the item and we'll render the item. Pass the item properties, which is the icon and the name, right? Which is getting from this, uh, this collection of data. And also pass the color as colors yellow and then show text is true. And we have this, um, this flat list right which is rendering all the uh, possible uh, items here and what i like to do now is to style it properly so we will uh, start from the middle of the screen and to do that we need to pass a content container style and we'll assign a padding top of height divided by two so the entire screen uh, half of the entire screen minus item height divided by two so we will um, we will start from the middle and same for the padding bottom here. So padding bottom, it's gonna be 
the same thing and also pass some uh, padding horizontal just to uh, create some uh, space to breathe here and now we have this this list right and one thing i would like to get rid of this bounces effect so pass bounces it's equal to false and we don't have it anymore and uh, now in order to to make this uh, reusable we would like to uh, do uh, two things right uh, we would like to uh, have access to the flat list ref and in order to do that we need to uh, create a forward ref so copy copy this component and create it here so const list is equal to a react forward ref and this forward ref will receive a couple of properties and then the key uh, the ref sorry and this one will return directly the flat list and if i hit save now and don't forget to also pass the ref equal to ref and I will also like to pass the color and show text as prop so color and show text and modify this guy here show text and show text and now if I'm going back to this component let me comment it out this uh, these two components because you don't need it for now and create this component render this component and Pass the color as colors yellow and show text it's true we should have the same the same list but this time we have access to the ref that uh, uh, that we've passed here right and let me create those refs so we will have a yellow ref it's a react use ref and all the same for the dark ref and pass the ref here so first is gonna be the yellow ref and now uh, why we did this is because we would like to synchronize those right and based on the y position of the big list which will only have the icons we would like to modify the the y or the offset of the uh, the other list right and in order to do that we need to have access to the refs so that's that's the main reason of doing it and now i will also like to uh, create a special style here and i would like to style sheet absolute uh, fill object so the first list is gonna be absolute uh, position so it's gonna be stretched we will get this style and apply here the style received as prop so this is the first list and for the second list i would like to copy everything and this time i would like to have a dark color and i would like to uh, send a different prop a uh, different style and i would like to position this absolute i would like to give it a background color of colors yellow so because we've changed the colors to dark it's not visible and we've applied a, 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 like the opposite right we've inverted the colors we also need to apply uh, a full width the entire screen and in this example we don't need a uh, show text anymore and we would like to have um, a fixed height so it's the item height and also position this uh, to the center so height divided by two and minus item height divided by two so this will start from the top and you notice that uh, this list it's uh, it's also playing the padding top and bottom and we don't want to do it so based on this show text because we know this uh, this flat list will uh, have the show text true we would like to uh, remove the padding top and bottom so show text in case if it's show text we would like to remove the uh, padding top and bottom so this will start from the top and now um, uh, we uh, would uh, also like to uh, get this um, event, uh, the scroll event, in order to to, to modify the uh, the list. So if if I'm uh, applying here an uh, opacity of 0.3, let's say, you see this is uh, 
perfectly aligned with the bottom list. And now the, the missing part is to synchronize the lists. And in order to do that, we need here to create an on scroll event and pass it to the big list. Only the big list will be uh, scrollable. So if only the big list is going to be scrollable, let's disable the scroll if uh, the show text is true. So we will, uh, we will disable as well the, the scroll for the small list and uh, enable it only for the big one. And to, to make this synchronized uh, thing, we need to create an animated event. And we'll get from the native event the content offset dy and assign it to the scroll y and also create the scroll y here, which is a React use ref and a new animated value starting from zero and get the current. And pass this uh, on scroll event only to the uh, to the yellow list, right? So on scroll is equal to on scroll, and I also notice that. I'm passing the same ref here, so and also don't forget about the use native driver in this example. And now we get this uh, this uh, this on scroll property inside the list that we've just created, and we need to pass it as a prop here. So on scroll and in order to get this event at 60 FPS, we also need to pass a uh, scroll event throttle of 60, 16, right? And this is uh, uh, throwing an error because we also need to convert this flat list to be an animated flat list. So we'll have access to this uh, uh, animation event, right? And uh, now that uh, we have this event, we need to... Uh, when this component will mount, so we will get this uh, via use effect hook. Uh, we need to li um, listen to scroll y events. So scroll y add event. We'll get the uh, value. So, and here we will check if uh, the dark ref exists. We would like to scroll to a particular offset and in our case the offset is directly the uh, the value of the scroll y right so offset is gonna be the value and we would like to ensure that this is not animated and now because we've uh, actually listening to the scroll y changes and we're modifying the scroll y from the big list with this on scroll event we would also uh, modify the dark to be like to scroll to the dark and this this one will create this uh, this beautiful effect like a, a masked view right and now that uh, I'm looking in uh, at it I'm, I'm not scrolling to a particular uh, interval so we will like to snap uh, to interval with uh, an item height so now it's gonna move uh, it's creating this uh, slider like animation and we also uh, need to pass a deceleration rate of fast so uh, it's, it's gonna snap to this interval uh, faster right and one more thing before uh, before wrapping up this tutorial is to let's uh, uncomment those two guys those two components right and now when, when you press on the done button, uh, notice that we don't change the index. And in order to do that, we need to first um, create here a, a callback. So on item uh, index change, we we'll like to have a react use callback and call this set index with it. And there are no dependencies. So basically we will uh, pass this event to uh, to the to the big list and whenever the uh, list will end the uh, the animation we would like to call uh, with uh, with a particular index where the list ended the transition right so if i'm going to the list component and get this uh, 
on item uh, index change. In order to get the event when the animation ended, we will use the on momentum scroll end. And this one will get the event. And we will uh, create a new index here. And from the event, we'll get from the native event content offset and then the Y. And we will divide it with the item height because to get to get the the index right. And uh, here we will also like to math floor, actually math round. It's better. And now we will check if there is an uh, uh, an on item index change. We will call it with uh, with the new index that we've just uh, got from from this uh, on momentum scroll end. And now if if I'm going to Instagram, for example, we get Instagram as the index and so on and so forth. That was it, guys. Thank you so much for staying so long with me. Hopefully you learned something new and you can apply it in your existing or new projects. Recently, I've received a comment saying I should change my VS Code team to a dark one. I did it. Let me know down in the comment section if you uh, like this new team and I'll know in the future videos to use it. Otherwise, I'll fall back to the white one. Also, if you have any other issues, don't hesitate to, to leave a comment here. I'll do my best to answer all of them and help you out as much as I can. Don't forget to also subscribe and smash the like button if you like this video. Other than that, see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.